Welcome to CSE Guru. In this session, we will discuss the next problem using branch and bound technique that is assignment problem in DAA. What is assignment problem? Here, given n jobs, that is job 1, job 2, job 3 up to job n and n persons, that is P1, P2, P3 up to Pn, it is required to assign all the n jobs to all n persons. That is, how many jobs will be available? All the jobs you should be assigned to all the available persons with the constraint that only one job has to be assigned to one person. That is, each person has to hold one job. Okay? In that way, we need to assign the job such that the cost involved in completing all the jobs should be minimum. Here, the design is nothing but select one element in each row. That is, here the n jobs and n persons will be assigned in row and column wise fashion. Okay, so here, if this is job in the sense, job 1, job 2, job 3 in the sense, this is person, P1, P2, P3. Okay, so here, this job and the persons will be arranged in row and column wise fashion. That is matrix form. So, here we need to select one element in each row of the matrix so that no two selected elements are in the same column. Okay. So, same column you should not select two elements. That is the constraint. Okay. And there is some is smallest possible. That is the design. So, this is nothing but the procedure to implement assignment problem. And this assignment problem can be implemented using best first branch and bound technique. Okay. So, what is best first technique in a sense? First, construct the state space tree. And this assignment, branch and bound technique, all we are going to implement using state space tree. The backtracking and branch and bound technique, both the technique solves the problem by constructing the state space tree. Okay. So, this best first branch and bound technique also, it will construct the state space tree by considering the initial lower bound value and that will be considered as level 0. So, I already said the job and the number of persons will be arranged like a matrix format. Okay, that is row and column fashion. Okay, so this is job 1, job 2 and job 3 and this is person 1, person 2 and person 3. So, here how we are going to calculate the initial lower bound value in the sense in this row. For example, randomly I will use some values. Okay. So, here if we are considering in the sense in the first row, what is the least cost? We need to consider that is 2 is the least one. So, consider 2. In the second row, 3 is the least one. Okay. So, consider 3. Third row, 1 is the least one. Consider 1. And if you are adding all these values, we will get the lower bound value. Okay. And this is nothing but the initial lower bound value. So, the state space tree will start with this initial lower bound value. So, here the lower bound value was 6. Okay. So, this is the initial lower bound value and this will be considered as level 0. Okay. Next up. Construct level 1 state space tree. Okay, next level state space tree we need to consider. That is nothing but level 1. By generating all the children of the most promising node among non-terminated leaves in the current tree. So, here how we are going to construct the next level state space tree in the sense. Consider person P1. For person P1. Assign job 1 and calculate the lower bound value. Similarly, for person P1, assign job 2 and calculate the lower bound value. And for person P1, assign job 3 and calculate the lower bound value. Okay. So, among these three lower bound values, which one is least? Proceed with that node. For example, if P3 is least in the sense, proceed with this node to construct the next level component. And this will be considered as level 1. Okay. Next, choose a node with least lower bound value 
okay for example here we are considering p1 third job is assigned and this will be considered as the least lower bound value okay and construct level 2 state space tree from that node and generate all possible children of the most promising node among non terminated leaves in the current tree okay so here we are considering in the sense for person p1 we have assigned third job in the sense for example okay we have assigned third job in the sense the same row and same column you should not assign any other job to any other person so for person p2 only two jobs is available okay that is job 1 and job 2 so consider here for person p2 assign first job and compute the lower bound value similarly for person p2 assign second job and compute the lower bound value okay third job no availability because third job already we have assigned to person p1 okay now among these two lower bound values which one is least proceed with the next level component and this will be considered as level 2 okay for example i am considering for person p2 this is the lower bound value assigning the first job to person p2 is considered as the lower bound value in the sense proceed with this for person p2 if i am assigning job 1 in the sense the same row and same column you should not assign to any other person so for person p3 only this job is available that is job 2 so for person p3 assign job 2 and this will be considered as the lower bound so construct level 3 state space tree and so on so level 3 state space tree what is the remaining job that we are going to assign to person 3 okay and we will compute the lower bound value. Suppose here we have considered three jobs. That is, if more than three jobs in the sense, it will proceed to one more next level component. Okay. So, however possible, we have to construct the state space tree by considering the next level component. Okay. But here, according to our example, here we have considered three jobs and it have proceed to construct only three level components. Okay. With this, the state space tree end up. Okay, so construct level 3 state space tree and so on. We have constructed the level 3 state space tree and with this we have assigned the third job to third person. Okay, that is job number 2 to third person. Okay, so once a final state space tree is constructed in the sense, choose the solution node. So this is the solution node with the least lower bound value which represents the optimal solution with the least cost. So, this will provide the optimal solution with least cost. So, every level if you are considering in the sense, we will construct the next level component by considering all its children nodes. So, if you are considering level 1 in the sense, all its children nodes, possible children nodes, are, there are 3 children nodes. So, we have constructed for 3 children nodes and computed its lower bound value. Okay. But, among these 3 children nodes, which node has least lower bound value with that only we will proceed to construct the next level component okay and the next level component if you are considering in the sense here options is only two only two children nodes is possible with this level okay so we have constructed and among these two children nodes which one is which one provides the least lower bound value with that node we will proceed to construct for the next level and the next level only one possible children node okay and we have constructed it and with this the construction of state space tree ends up further there is no component to proceed to the next level state space tree. okay so here itself the state space tree end up meaning us we have reached the final stage of the state space tree and this is nothing but the optimal solution with the least cost and this is the least lower bound value okay so, this is nothing but best first branch and bound technique. And this technique we are implementing to solve the assignment problem. So, this is the procedure to solve the assignment problem. So, with this procedure, we will continue in the next session. We will implement an assignment problem step by step using this best first branch and bound technique. And we will find the solution. Thank you for watching this video. 